surprised it wasn't going to be um, Resident Evil 6 or Umbrella Chronicles. You know what? Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Umbrella Chronicles, I actually, it's fun for an arcade game. Resident Evil 6, uh, I'm sure some of you guys remember my video from back in the day. I defend that game like crazy. I actually enjoyed some of the Yeah, I, I really liked Resident Evil 6. I, I think it gets a really bad rap. I won't go on a giant rant about it like I did years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think it's, it's purely mistaken. Um, and here's what I say about Resident Evil 6. I think people... Were complaining about it because it's it's they were complaining about it because it's not what they wanted it to be mm -hmm. it's and instead of focusing on what it was it's well, kind it of gave you basically a genre for each different storyline so if you want an action type game yeah exactly and they had the horror like stuff yeah it's... and it was a big thing and like i said before i'm a huge fan of the story of resident evil which uh people think i'm crazy for focusing on but resident evil 6 was a compilation of the story coming together in one giant now maybe some people complain a bit too hollywood blockbuster style mm -hmm. because it got away from its survival horror roots but that's kind of where the story was going it evolved just like exactly everything. it wasn't just like they weren't just discovering all these problems for the first time now it's totally exposed what was going on with trisol and umbrella and all these corporations and now it was like a big giant mess is basically what happened Okay, another great score I had was Dungeon Explorer 2 on the Turbo CD. The guy behind the counter honestly thought he had the Japanese version. Oh. So, and he wanted 20 bucks for it. Oh. So I bought it. And the reason why he thought he had the Japanese version is because someone replaced the CD tray with a white tray, which is common for Japanese yeah. games. But in, it's English everywhere. The disc, it's, it's the American version, just with a different CD nice. tray. So I literally got like a $300 game for 20 bucks. So that was... That's a pretty exciting one. That gets one. your heart going. And that you does. Just want to get out of the store because when as I you see can. it, yeah, you're right. Because at first, when I see it, I kind of you do the thing, you see it, and you kind of turn around like ah, that's Japanese version. You're kind of like wait a minute, and then your brain starts going hey, hey, idiot. Yeah. Turn around, take a closer look at that. I think this is something good. I'm just imagine people walk by that and then realize that's, it. that's the crazy that's thing. Crazy. And then then you uh, you know you kind of pretend like you're not because you don't want to seem too excited because then yeah. the owner might go wait wait a minute you're supposed to go like I, this yeah, is literally I what I did. Something. I said uh, I think I have a friend who might want this. <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised you're like, 15? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While sweat's beating down your brow, you're like... Meanwhile, I'm, ha I'm handing the money like this. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I'm really yeah. <laughs> I need pills for this. Now, with every good score, yes, there's some bad ones. Yes, there is, unfortunately. Now, for bad score, uh, I guess the worst thing that happened to me was I bought um, some rare games that came in, like, a DVD case and everything seemed fine. Now I checked the disc, the disc was fine. I didn't really mind so much. There were a little few scratches here and there, but nothing resurfacing can get rid of. And it yeah. was... So I gave the money, I was all excited, I got home. And then I noticed something on the on the artwork on the inlay. It was a bit bumpy. I'm thinking, what's going on here? So I take out the inlay, pull it out, mold. Oh. Just like, and I don't mean like a little specks of mold. I mean like, disgusting. I mean, it's like if you leave cheese in the fridge for too long kind of mold. Oh. And it was just like instantly like just fucking throw it out and, and light a torch to whatever bag. It was just, Thankfully, it wasn't too expensive, and I and it was it was the only problem with it was like an hour drive where I had to go, oh, so it's not like it was down the street. <laughs> and I remember just like not only being disappointed because the game I bought was ruined, but also just the disgustingness. Like I'm not like a germaphobe by any stretch of the imagination, but just seeing that when you pull it out, it's like a scene from like you know some uh, detective movie when they're pulling out a corpse. <laughs> you're kind of like, ugh. It's something you don't want to bring into your house. As well. e exa exactly. Yeah, it was just disgusting, and it was like the spores were like, oh. Uh. Yep. What do you want to think about that? Yep. Sense. <laughs> I've had some dirty games come in. This, so I, I wonder, like, what has this gone through? Like, 20 years of, like, hell? Like, seriously? Like, That's the thing. You've got to wonder about, like, the history of what... what how did it get to this point? I would point? love to know yeah. its history. Like, do kids wipe their butts with it or something? Like, I don't understand how games can get so dirty. Besides video games, yes, we all have different hobbies mm -hmm. as well. Um, obviously, it's definitely not this. What else are you into? Uh, for me, it definitely still be movies and music, this kind of thing. I still have a rather healthy Blu-ray collection. Saw very impressive. Yeah, I, I still uh, like, and when it comes to like one of my favorite movies, like like Blade Runner, for example, I'll buy it on every format. Or so movies, like I buy lots of Blu-rays, obviously, for the home theater, and I still love collecting laser discs. So I still really love movies. Um, I wish I actually had more time to watch them than I do. Like I, there's be the occasional time when I get home and I've got nothing going on for the night, so I'll watch two in a row or something like that. And the other thing is definitely music. Uh, for me, I'm still, you saw my CD collection, yep. I still, I know a lot of people are like, like, oh, it's all MP3s. Not really that I'm, I would call myself like an audiophile, like I do have some vinyl, I do love vinyl as well. But I've always loved CDs, because that's what really got me into collecting music. Mm -hmm. And I love the pure, clean digital sound. And with my home theater, to be honest with you, CDs sound way better than any MP3 ever could. 
Plus, like, the artwork, and, like, sometimes they have hidden tracks in the CDs, which is that, a nice that, And bonus. that's, you know, that's kind of a lost art, especially now with MP3s and singles, where, like, we're... The music, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant about the music industry. We've kind of gone back into the, the 50s where everything was singles, single, single, yeah. single, single, single. Now, for me, when the 80s and 90s, when I really got into music, it was all about the album. Like listening to Metallica's Justice for All from track one to track 10 or whatever in a row is the way. And a lot of these albums are constructed to sound like that. Like when Scott Whelan died, you, of course, I listened to every Stone Temple Pilot album from beginning to end. And some of them, there's like a story, like a, Green Day was famous for that, for doing a story through the entire album from track one right to the end. And even little skits in some of the CDs too. Exactly. And it, it's a really a lost art. And I'm not going to like wave my fist in the air and say, you damn kids in your MP3s. <laughs> but it, but it's it's true. You know, it's 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 a shame when I when you talk to someone about like a song and, and I'm like, well, that's off album so-and-so. And they're like, what album? What? They, you know, they don't even yeah. know. They, they just know like the one song, and it's, it's a 99 cents iTunes buy. It. Exactly. It's a shame, but it's it's one of those things. Like there's still people like me and a few others still holding on to that. But I understand it's a losing battle, but damn it, I still enjoy it. So <laughs> I always read the art book when I'm in my Aqua CD, man. Listen to the whole thing. <laughs> we'll listen to Pet Shop Boys after. I got, I got a whole. I look. <laughs> this is a stupid joke. Man.